the thought of being trapped in whatever form that may take, it's a pretty frightening one. Imagine being trapped in the cabin of a sinking ship. Imagine being trapped underground somewhere. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. Well, that's a cheery start to our time together then, isn't it? But the reality is that many people today find themselves trapped in one way or another. Perhaps there's something in your circumstances right now that has you feeling that. Back during the COVID pandemic, when many were in lockdown, I often thought about women and children trapped in abusive relationships, how completely terrible that must have been for them. But sometimes the walls of our entrapment are self-made. Sometimes we lock ourselves into that situation all by ourselves. Fear can be a trap, but if you trust in the Lord, you'll be safe. What God's saying here to us is that fear in and of itself is the trap. People feel trapped in their job, in a difficult financial situation, in the middle of a health scare, hey, even with a terminal diagnosis. Life throws up all sorts of difficulties and adversity. And let's be clear about this, one day that will all culminate in the end of our life here on this earth. Those things are just going to happen. Whether we feel trapped by them, or whether despite them we feel free as a bird, has everything to do with fear and its alternative. If you imagine that you're all alone in this, if that's your template for life, fear will be your trap, the prison cell of your own making. But if you trust in the Lord, you will be safe. That's his word fresh for you today. God is good. He is faithful. He is in this place with you always. So if you'd like to go a bit deeper, then stop by and explore ChristianityWorks.com where you'll find a wealth of messages on all sorts of different subjects straight out of God's Word and conveniently arranged so that you can find exactly what you need for today. Again, that's all at ChristianityWorks.com.